All right, guys, so I'm finally back with another video. Um, I know it's been a little bit. Um, I actually ended up spilling coffee all over my old computer, and I honestly could not edit a video, and it was terrible. I couldn't use it at all, so I had to wait till I got a new laptop, but finally, I got one, and uh, today, that's why I'm finally uploading a video, so sorry for the wait. Here is uh, the actual trick. All right, so uh, the, basically the way you start this trick off is you go ahead, and I'll just go ahead by uh, start off and picking out four cards from the deck, and I have to make sure that they are two black and two red cards. So we have one red card going to the right, one red card or one black card going off to the left, I guess. So essentially you have these two cards. These are going to go in the middle of the deck, and the way this works is you have the spectators. You're going to have them guessing what color these cards are above uh, the red and black ones. So let's just, let's say that you would have the spectator make sure you explain to them that they're going to be taking top cards off the deck and guessing if they are red and black. So you tell them, all right, so let's say, what, uh, you know, have them guess what color this is. Let's say they were to say this is black. So you show the card. They ended up guessing wrong. So this card would go in the red pile. So let's say they guess the next card. What color do you think this is? They might say black. So you go ahead. They have the general idea of what they're doing and you're going to have them go ahead and gamble, pick which colors, which cards, they can do single cards, they can do multiple cards, you know, just have them really think about their decision uh, and which, you know, which color they think the cards are. So you keep doing this until you actually end up getting to the middle of the deck. So what you have here is red and black. So hopefully you're telling the spectator, hopefully they ended up making the right decisions uh, between, you know, red and black. So here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. So now we have the blacks on this side and the reds on that side. So now they're going to be guessing, okay, so now they're going to be guessing do the black cards go here or do the red cards go here. So you mix it up a little bit, making it a little bit more random for the spectators. So all these cards over here should be red. These ones should be black. And let's peel off maybe two cards here, three cards or so there, maybe some more here. And you just go through the entire deck trying to guess red or black. And to the spectators, Amazement, what actually happens is when you snap your fingers, you show the spectators that all their guesses were actually right. As you guys can see, you've picked all the black cards correctly here on this side, and all the red cards are guessed correctly. And you go over here again, you guys can see all the black cards match with the black cards over here. You go to the reds and they guess correctly on the red. So this is a trick, and if you guys want to do it, do not forget to stick around for the e tutorial. All right, so the setup for the card trick isn't too, too bad. Um, it does take maybe like 30 seconds or so, but you get the cards in this order. The cards are gonna be split exactly red from black. And I didn't do this at the beginning of the performance only because I wanted to get right into the trick, but you could do a couple fall shuffles and whatnot just to mix it up for your spectators. You know, as you're talking to them casually speaking, you kind of just play with the cards a little bit, but they're going to remain in the same exact order. Now from here, what you do, is you start off the trick by telling the spectators you're going to get out two red cards and two black cards. And when I did it, I didn't actually, I could have left the cards like this, but I didn't want you guys to peep any of the colors. But in real life, the spectators can be in front of you, so it's very easy just to point the deck to yourself. They're not going to be able to see uh, what you're doing. So what you are doing in reality is taking two black cards from the left at the middle, two red cards from the right. And as you guys can see, you have this nice thick break between the bottom and the top packet. And all you have to do is put your thumb at the back here, and as you're kind of, you know, squaring the deck up, you're getting a pinky break in the back like this, pulling out these four cards, laying these on the table. And then when you cut the cards from the pinky break, the spectators aren't going to notice anything because it's just two different colors. It doesn't look like one half red and black, but you are cutting it at that exact uh, middle break. You peel this off, put this on the table, put this on the table as well. So when you're practicing doing this whole pinky break stuff, uh, you can look at the deck See, make sure that all these cards are only black. All these cards should be only red. Now what you're gonna do, you tell your spectators, all right, so I'm gonna go and split these up. So we have one red here, one black here, and the other two colors we are gonna put in the middle of the deck. And you just kind of square it up like this. You put this in the middle, complete the cut, and you are from here completely ready to go. So this is what the setup looks like from here. You have you know, your top half above, the other cards below, and then you can start dealing off the cards. So this is the most important part of the actual trick. Um, when you when you have to make sure that you explain to the spectator exactly what you want them to do or else they might mess it up. So when you explain to them, you're gonna say, okay, so we have two different colors here. You know, obviously a deck is split up into red and black cards. So what you're gonna have them do is say, okay, 
I want you to guess, going all the way through the deck, I want you to guess, you know, is this card red or black? Okay, so the spectator is going to say whatever color they want. Let's say they say black. You flip the card over. In this case, they're right. So you want to remember that this is the correct pile. So at this point, all these cards are actually going to be black with the black pile. So you remember the right pile is the right pile. It's with this right color. And any card that goes over on this side, that's going to be the wrong color. So you'll see what I'm saying in a second. So you have them go through, and they're going to go ahead and decide which card goes with which pile. Okay, so you're dealing through the cards. All these cards are actually black, so even if they put them in the red pile, they're not right. If they put them in the black pile, they are right. So you have them go through all the way down till they get to the middle. So from here, you tell them you're going to make the trick a little bit more random. So we're going to switch it up. I want you to guess all the cards that are red are not going to go on the right side, and all the cards that you think are black are going to go over here. So now you've switched it up. All the red cards are left here. So now the red cards, you say, all right, so go ahead and guess again which one you want to go to. You put it there, and they put it here. You don't have to really show uh, the color of the cards here, only because they've already got the idea at the beginning of the trick. So they go ahead, they deal down the cards. You're putting them wherever they want to. I'll just go ahead and finish this up. Because you guys get the idea, you saw the performance, you split it up, it goes to whatever pile. And now from here, like I said, it's important to remember which pile was the right one. So we know this pile was right. Now I've seen a couple other performances of the trick where they actually reveal the right pile first and then um, the pile that's uh, mix-matched uh, second. So I wanna, I, I, I would actually do the trick by revealing the first the first pile, you know, as the wrong one. Only, you'll see what I'm saying because it kind of switches it up. So from here, the spectator, if the trick would work perfectly, you could do this with both halves. You can easily pick up the first half here and show them it's all red, and that's very impressive. But you cannot do the same thing over here because it's obviously, you know, completely in reverse. So what I would do or what you have to do for the trick is you can reverse the second pile first or the wrong pile first and then come over. So you come over to this pile, this is the wrong pile. You take all the cards except for the bottom cards. You take all the cards and once you have them, you flip the entire pile over right on that top card and then you can begin to spread these out and say, look, so all the black cards went with the black card and all the red cards went with this red card down here. So that might look a little bit fishy. Okay, so that's why I do it, because if you do this part last, then that's the lasting impression that you're going to leave on your spectator. But if you do this one last, it looks very, very legit. So you come over, you flip just the cards above the red one here, you flip it over, and it looks perfect that they actually guessed all these cards. So that's why I like doing this last, because you can actually show the spectators that they picked the right color. So, you know, let's say they're suspicious here. By the time they get to the second part of the trick where you actually reveal the real cards, you're leaving a better impression on the spectators, in my opinion. So that's just how I would do the trick. Uh, it's called um, Out of This World. Hope you guys like it. And as always, thanks for watching.